Okay. What is the game store? Game store really is another application. Okay. Okay. Is that your screen, isn't it? Let me, can you just, let me just close your screen. I will stop participation and I will share mine. Okay. Or should I do it on your computer? What do you say? Daniel. Yes, it is. Should I do it on your computer? Yes, you can. Go ahead. So give me a share again. By the way, M Store is a chapter that I took from a book. So, and it's a quite advanced book. So if you get to a point, you can really understand that application. It's really means you got to a high level for certificate one. So let me just take control. Yeah, very good. So we have uh, several applications as you can see here. And I want to add another one. And here we go, in fact, you already added it, okay? And our objective is to really understand it. So I always say, please write it down, okay? Don't be shy, write it down. I add an application. I can copy the application from the internet. I can run that program, may Python manage, start app and give a name, it would create one. In the end of the day, every application, we get a folder here. See, we get a folder. You know, I will give you an assignment, which will be really good for you. So everyone for Wednesday, make a new application with your name. The name of the application will be your name. Okay? And make it to be like any other application. What do I mean by that? When you go to here, you know, you, let's go to the main, and in the main, he doesn't like me or what? Yeah, yeah, here we go. I'm in the main, you see there are a lot of application here. There's one of them, it says Amos. Take Amos away. We don't need Amos now. Put an application with your name. And when you click on your name, you get a page. Hey, wow, it looks so good here on this picture, my God. Ah, this is me, okay. Okay, so I will see your picture there, okay? That's the first thing we have learned in this course. So you can add an application and I would like you guys for Wednesday to, everyone has to know that. Everybody has to know that. When you get to the main screen, I would like to have an application that says your name. You click on it. You see your own picture. Everybody has to know that. Okay, so thanks. So how do we do it? Very simple, very, very simple. You know, there is already one called Amos here. Oh, this is mine, sorry. Okay. Okay, there's one already Amos, but all the application are the same in the sense that all of them, all of them has to be registered Okay, all of them has to be registered in two places. Two places. In the setting, where is the setting? Setting, setting, here we go. In the setting, if you go to the base, is that right guys? Yes. Yeah. We have to be registered in the base. And it has to be here. By the way, here is Amos is here. See, Amos is there. Game store is there. That's why Game Store is gonna work. 
That's the way Django identified them as applications. So I'm expecting to see trades.apps.yourName. That's where we know that your program is already there. But before you start it, you, you do Python, manage, start app, and you put your name, you will create it, and you'll make sure it will be under the apps directory. You have to have it right in here, whatever your name is, will be according to the ABC. And then you make sure that in this file, you, you will have something like trades.apps.unit. That's stage number one, must be there. Stage number two, okay? Stage number two, I must put it in the URLs of the applications. And the URLs of the application is right here. See that? Okay, in fact, if you close all those ones, you will see it's right under the trade. Close all of them. See, this is the trade. Hey, let's close this one too. You see, this one is right under the trade. And this one must have a link to all applications in the project. Okay, so if I do double click, here we go. By the way, you can tell is Amos is working. We know it's working. So I should see Amos here. Here it is. See this line? This is making sure that I can navigate to Amos. How do I make sure that I navigate to Game Store? Game Store is here too. See that? How do we know that we can navigate to the billings? I did here. See that? Okay, two things, write it down. After you create the application with the Python manage.py start app and the name, you create a directory, it's creating the whole things automatically. And you make sure those two places. Now I'm usually, I put the same names, like if it will be, if I do game store, I call it game store here. If it MOs, I'll put the name here. The name here on the left is not crucial, by the way. You can change it. You have just to know how to deal with it, but it's all. But I usually, not to get lost, not to get confused, I keep the same name. By the way, somebody here did an application called Calc. I have no idea what we did there, but somebody did Calc, which is okay. Good. Okay? That's two things. Everybody must know. Now that we have the applications, we know that if I go here and go to the main page, what happened? I go to the main, and I go to, what happened, why it's so slow? I think it's very slow. You're not using my computer there, the mini computer, I can tell, because it works much faster. It should work much faster. We're trying to use it faster. Okay, here we go. This is the main. And if I go to the game store, it's gonna go to the game store. Which file is gonna show me first? Which file is going to show me first? It's still laying. By the way, somebody haven't done his job correctly because it says to do here. See that? It should say game store. I will fix it in a second. But it's opening a screen. Okay? I want to look at this screen. We want to understand how it's got to that screen. So we're going to the pie charm, we go to here, and we look at the game store. If you see here, a game store, game store, here we go. If it says game store, it's gonna to go to the application game store. 
and we go to the game store directory, that's the application. And here we check the one that is empty because that's the one you will choose first. So I double click here. I'll close some of those files so maybe it will make it work faster. Let's uh, close the index as well. I'm closing some files so it will make our life a little easier. Maybe we'll take less space. Okay, let's close all of those. The buildings. Okay. Try it see what we don't need. Let's close this one too. Let's leave that one for now. Okay, so he's getting really, he's looking for the one that's empty. By the way, this is another style of finding uh, links. It goes to the index because it's empty. It's, the head means start with nothing and the dollar sign says end. So between the beginning and the end, there's nothing. I mean, when there is nothing, show me this function. That's really what it means. And that's really the case here. Oh, sorry. So once again, I'm getting confused between. Here we go. If you notice, it says only game store here. After the game store, there is nothing. So nothing mean show me the index function. How do I know show me the index function? Because here it's referring me to that index. See that? And then I want to go and see what does it do there. So I go and do control B and it will go to that function. Okay, and what does it do here? It's a very simple function. In fact, if you think about it, it should be easy now, but we break it slowly. Step number one, which you must know always, by the way, this is really taken for a book. So, but nothing really here, it's uh, that hard. Okay, so let's go and understand this function. What do we have here? Looks, wow, so complicated, even scary. Nothing is really scary. Okay, leave all of those stuff. Now this is it to the carrot. Where is the index one? Anybody see the index one? Hold a second, I will find it again, a second again. Go to the index and control B. It will take me there. Okay, here's the index. And don't get scared, never get scared. And why is it not that hard? Because I always start from the end. Stuff that looks familiar to me. This one should be familiar to you by now. It means go and open this template. It's gonna open that template. By the way, this is another way of, you know, instead of taking the whole things, you could have taken the whole things here and just, copy it and put it right here, it would be the same things. You can give it a name and then just take the name and put it here, the same things. What it really means is when you're opening this template, you're transferring all those variables to the template. So let's look at the template. I'm gonna look at the template. And we know after the template, we always keep the same name or the name of the application. Another template, there should be one called index. Here it is. So this one is clear to us. We're not confused. Not only that, in the template, we are transferring four variables. One, two, three, four. And we're using them in the template. That's what we're really doing. Now, before even I open the template, I would like to understand what am I transferring to this template? What are the variables I'm transferring to the template? So let's see. The first one is, okay, it says highlight, game list, 
And it start open bracket, uh, you know, uh, uh, a square bracket, nothing, and then colon, and then a number. What this really means, you have a list, and he said, give me all, give me all the objects, or give me all, you have a list. So give me from the beginning of the list up to this number. Don't give me the other ones. That's really what it, that means. But before I can really understand that even better, let's see what this list is. What is this list? This is, must be a list. And how did I got it? So I'm going to look up here in this area. Where is this one? It says highlighted game list. Where is highlighted game list? Anybody sees that? Oh, here it is. This one is almost a standard, okay? And there is another topic I didn't teach you in certificate one. In fact, even in certificate two, I didn't spend too much time on that. Certificate three, I will definitely push you to learn that one even more. That's called managers. I didn't really put it too much on those certificates. And when we get, it's very important, by the way. They are very important. I less use it, but I do use it. Not a lot, but I do use it. It's a very important concept, okay? And in a minute, I will go over it. But the bottom line is, it looks like familiar games, objects, and usually we will do all. All will give me everything, all the rows, like we did in the Billings program. Here, instead of writing, you know, like we had the items or customers, remember, customers, that objects, that all parentheses. Here we do game, which is a table. And we have all the objects. We want to take all the objects from that game table. And I don't want all of them. I could have written here all. It will give me all the records there. But I'm telling him, give me a different list. Okay, for now that's good enough. Okay, don't break your head. All what it means, out of this big table called game, we have a table game, in a second I will show you. Give me not all the games, but only ones that they are highlighted. How does it do it? I will show you in a minute, okay? So I'm getting a list of all the games that they are highlighted. That's what this one is. Now I'm telling him, out of this list, there might be 10, 20, five, I don't know how many, could be a long list. And I wanna make sure that I don't bring to the template too many games. I wanna make sure that I bring only, let's say, it says max highlighted games, it's number three. By the way, this is just, a nice Python way of writing, but I could have written instead of this one, you know, I could have deleted this one, okay? And just write here three. That means, okay, it's a little slow, but in a second, I could have written here three, but I like the way that it's written here. This is the right way to do it, really. Always use the way I'm just, making sure you don't get confused with too many names. It's kind of scary in the beginning when you are not expert yet. I could have written here number three. Okay, it would be the same things. No difference. Okay, that means give me three items. From the very beginning, the beginning starts from number zero. Remember, a list in Python always starts from zero. Give me the, item, the first row, which is row zero, row number one, and row number two. At the third one, three, it doesn't give me. So I just made it simpler. I removed that one just to make it simpler for you. Some things, if you have a good eye, we have a game list. You see that? It gave me the highlighted. Not highlighted. There's another list. How does it do it? Forget about it for now. And it says from the not highlighted, give me up to nine. So I could really delete this one. I don't need, I, 
this is nice. Uh, in fact, this is the way that you really should write always. It's a better way to do it. I just wanted to make it look simpler so you don't get scared, okay? See, I can remove that one. In another word, I'm getting two lists. I'm making sure that out of the first list, I get only up to three rows. And from the second list, I get up to nine rows. I can change it, I can get up to five, I can change the nine to five, whatever. That's stage number one. That's the objective of those two rows. I didn't explain exactly this function, but you know, you know me by now. Not everything you have to understand immediately. Over time you understand, but the bottom line is this gives you a list of rows out of that table called game. And the second one give you also from the game table, but a different list. And after I get those two lists, I'm transferring to the template. I'm making sure that with the template, I'm transferring up to three from the first list and up to nine rows from the second list. Those are going to the template. This is will be their name, games list and highlighted game. That's very important. Okay, good. So that's those two coming from those two. What are those ones here? Very simple. You know, this is a very nice Python trick. What this one does is check, by the way, this I will get an error because I deleted that variable, remember? Max highlighted, I should write number three here, okay? I will get an error otherwise. It doesn't know what it is anymore because I deleted it, okay? And in this one I should change to number nine, okay? Because otherwise I will get an error. Come on, okay, number nine, okay? Now this is a very nice trick. Okay, if I ask you in the exam, which kind of a variable is show more like link highlighted? Your answer is supposed to be, it is a kind of a variable Boolean. What does it mean Boolean? It will be true or false. Eh, what do you mean? What I mean is, see, it's really checking, you know, this list, highlighted game list, it's a list. We can have here several, uh, vi you know, this is a list, is that right? And what I'm checking here is, is the original list before I limited, do I have more than three rows? That's what he's checking. He's checking highlighted game list that count, count the rows, count the rows, and then is it higher than three? When I write higher than three, I'm not saying higher than three, it's really confusing. It's really checking if the count is more than three. Very confusing for a regular person. Uh, in computer is very common. If it is higher than three, this variable will say true. It will say true. If it is not higher than three, it will say false. So in fact, what I'm doing is I want to know really is the original list which are highlighted, do I have really more than three items? That's the objective of this sentence, okay? Some things I'm doing with the other list, the game list, and I'm checking do I have more than nine in the second list? If I do, it will say true. That's what all the things that I'm doing really in this view. Now the whole thing is clear. All things, now I want to use it inside here. I'm going to use it in the index. So let's go to the index now. Now it's time to open it up. Double click on it. And when I open it up, we inheriting from base game store. 
we will look at that in a second, because as we usually do, if you remember, every application, we always, always have a template under it. And under the templates, we always have the game store, the same name of the application, but we always try to do base and the name of the application. So if I double click on it, and usually it will extend the base. That's something we have gone through that a lot. Here we go, the mistake of whoever I'm playing with. This shouldn't be to do here. It should be game store here. But I'm in the application game store. Am I right? Okay. And then what it does in the game store, when I open any page in the game store, it makes sure to put a main button. That's something we have learned, the same thing as we did in the application of the billings. Nothing special, really nothing. We have done that. The rest is not doing anything. So the base of the game store is really nothing special, just like the, the base for the billings, the base for all the other applications. In fact, that's really what it should be. The objective is to put a title here, just in case when I'm in the main page of the game store and make sure that I always can go to the main application because that's really my home page kind of. This is my main page. The rest, it really is like a place as we're gonna fill them up later on, okay? And that's beautiful, so at least we fixed up that this one should say game store. I can close it. By the way, if you go here now, It shouldn't say to do, is that right? It shouldn't say to do, what is it? What happened? What happened? I don't want this one. Did I do something? Hold a sec. Close me. Okay. Let's go back, back to the main. And here I want to go to the game store. All right, I want to go to the game store. In the game store, I should, uh, now if you see, it says game store in the top. See that? We fixed it. Good. In fact, we're going to, we'll see, this is really like the main page. And you see the man here? This is because we had that button in the game store base, the best game store. That's why I put the main button. Okay, this is really those two things you can tell from the, I just closed the bar, reopen it again. This is really, this one made sure that the title will be game store here. And this one added another button. That's it, that's all what this page did. Now the index is extending the best game store. And by the way, it really is um, changing the header to be home game store. Now, why I'm not getting this one, we'll see in a minute. I thought we we're supposed to get it, don't we? Daniel, why I'm not getting this one? Let's go back to the view. The view is sending me, the view is sending me to the index. So here is the index. And the index, you know what I would do? I would delete everything from here. It wants to kill me probably. I'm going to delete everything. And I would like to see the title to be really home game store. Anybody can tell why I'm not getting it? Anybody? What's the error? Can you tell? See, I'm intentionally deleted the rest. You can spot the error immediately. Anybody? See, I'm getting this one. But really, when I'm getting to the index, if I'm going to the index, 
uh, I would like to put a block here to change. The mistake is if you notice, this one it says title here, and he's using another type of a header. This is really not a title. So if you change it to title, and I will, title, now if I refresh this page, oh, not this one, sorry. If I refresh this page, I deleted everything, so you won't see the whole thing inside. But at least I want to see what happened to here. I'll refresh it. Okay, I just want to I care only about the title. Oh, you see, it changed, home game store. You see that? Yes. Because I fixed the error. I fixed that error here. This should be exactly the same, it's called black title, it should be exactly here. So if it's the same title, it will override this one, it will ignore this one, it will use this one. So far so good? Good. Now I'm gonna put the stuff I deleted before, and we go over those ones, okay? Let's go step by step, okay? In the end of the day, really, we have only two list. We have only really two list. If you look at the view, we're really having only two list. We're transferring those two lists. We're making sure this one will not be more than three, and this one will not be more than nine. And here we're just saying true or false, they're really having the original more than three or less than three. That's all what I'm really transferring. So let's look at the index. And this is so crucial, you know, the ones that now working with me on web pages, read web pages, we use it a lot, okay? Let's look at what we see here. Okay, this one we understand already, we did. The second block, which is the body, pay attention, we start in this block called body, and really is overriding this block over here, which is empty. Yeah, we don't have it here. We, yeah, here it is. See, it's empty. When we're overriding it, we're putting stuff into the page. Okay, here it's empty. The best we're extending, it's empty, but we're gonna add stuff to it. What do we wanna add? And see, the first things, there's really two blocks here. There's two elements. This is one. See that? Start with an if comment. And if you see the second one, Right below that, very similar, you see that? If and end if, and there is doing something inside here, okay? And here is doing something else. Okay, everybody happy? Let's look at the first, you know what? Let me go over the second list, which is this much simpler. And I will go over the first list, the first part. Look at this one, because there's some element here. I don't think I taught you, or maybe I mentioned, but at least in the here, it exists here. It's a little hard. It's a little hard, and this is very strongly recommend you do. I do it a lot, I use it a lot. Let's see what do we have here. I'm checking if I have a game list. By the way, what is game list? What is this word game list? To remind you. What is this one? Game list, if you look at the view, game list is the list itself. Is that right? Yes. Correct? The truth of the matter, okay, is really checking if I have a, a list. If I don't have any things there, it will be empty, okay? And it, it will not exist at all, okay? If I have no item of kind of not highlighted, this one will not exist. So if I don't have anything, that will be false. If I have one, two, three, it will have something in it, okay? So, and moreover, the game list, if I have more than nine, it will chop it. But if I don't have anything, this will be a, four, there will be a, a, a word called false. So what it does here, 
is check if I have something in that list. Or if I do have, then I want him to do this one. And I did not explain to you guys what this one does. I never taught you that. So now it's the time. This one, it's a beautiful way to tell him, go and look for another template. Go to the another template and do whatever inside this template. By the way, this is it, the template, by the way. This is the template. I use it a lot in Academy City website. Go and do that template. When you do it, please, I want you to transfer to this template, transfer to it the game list, but this time give it a name called games list without an underscore. The only reason I did it this way, I don't know if I did it, probably the book have done it. Uh, it's just to make sure that I'm inside the game list so I don't get confused. And then in addition, I want you, wherever it says highlighted game, there's a variable you're transferring to this template. There should be, I, I want you to use a, a, a variable in this template called highlighted games, but it will be false. It's not that clear, I'll be honest with you. I'm not clear. In a second, it will be clear. Let's open the game list. I will open it, I will explain again. Let's find the game list. Here we go. You see that game list template? This is really the one he's referring to. Please pay attention. I must tell him that is in the directory game list store because everything that any template here it has to be as if I'm referring from the template. That's why I put it the word game store here. So he's referring really to this one. Let's open it. This is a very smart way of building up a list. Okay, why well, it looks so complicated? It's not really, okay? It really isn't. And if you really think about it, what you really have here, it is the code, okay? Look complicated, but it really isn't. And in a minute I will explain. What this one does, it has a for loop, First of all, and then he does some stuff here and he put a picture, see, there's a picture here. He put an image and after the image is a, after the image is a, putting some information about the game the year release, developer, publisher, blah, blah, blah. Then he's checking if I have a price unit. Why? You should be lost by now. It looks scary. It shouldn't. Why? Let's go back to the, image, the picture itself. Let's go here. Let's refresh. What it really does it's doing this beautiful box. See this box? That's what that code is doing. But it's doing several boxes, depending on how many items I have in the database. For every item in the database is making a box. Okay? Everybody got it? Yes. So in order to understand that, let's focus only on one box and our life will be slightly easier. Let's focus only the first one. If you notice, there is a square here, nice. This is different color a little bit. There's a picture here. There's a title here. And then you see released here, developer, and then something publisher. That's the name, let me make it bigger. Hold a second, let's close this one. Will look better. Yeah, you see that? It's a little nicer, have a more, more space. So have a picture have a title, action games, and then it says release developer with his name. You know, I can make it a little bigger maybe. Just a second. Uh, no, it's there, it will take two hours. It's okay. 
Then I have publisher, then I have the price, and then I have a little box here and I can click on it, it will add it to the cart, like, uh, you know, when you do in Amazon, okay? So let's first understand what do we see here. What do we see here? So let's look at it. This is really all in this code. Let's go into the code. Forget about the loop, because the loop just will make me many pictures. I want to focus only on one. So I'm going to forget about this loop, okay? I'm going to talk about only one game, as if I'm talking about only one game. What it says here, if game highlighted and highlighted games, write something, okay? Forget about it. I don't really want to care about it for now. Then I have a class item box. By the way, this is makes the rounding, you know, the nice line around here. That's what makes that line nice and change a little bit the color. I don't care about that either for now. I just want to tell you what I really care about is starting from here and that will come back, don't worry. This one is the picture of the game. This one, if you see, it's a div, it's HTML, class item image, by the way, item image, what it does, this is really for next semester, we'll talk about it more, third semester, we'll talk about it even more. The class means, make me a nice little box, make me a little box, right here. See this box to be small, this here on the left side, okay? Whoever tell him how to do it, it's really this class. And we learn a little bit in certificate two, how we can use classes. In fact, we did learn that. And it will make a little box on the left side. What does it put there? It makes a box with a height of 100, with 100, that's why we're writing the height. Moreover, since we're putting the images inside the database, see the game here? For every row in that table, I'm referring for the first one first, we have, an ID, we have a field called image. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm right. Let's go to the models. Let's see if we have a table called games. See, it's the first time you're seeing really this, uh, this program, so don't get confused, don't, don't, don't panic, okay? This stuff I didn't teach you, the manager I didn't teach you, okay? But I do have a table called game, see that? This is the table. This is the table that I put data in it. Fair enough, let me make it a little smaller so it won't get so scary as it looks like. You don't really have to have the spaces here, okay? You don't have to have spaces here. Could be even smaller, okay? And by the way, if you look, really interesting. We do have a name, we list here, developer, published by, an image. This is the way we're uploading pictures to this table. And we use the field called image field. See that? Okay, everybody happy? If we don't have any pictures, then we're putting some blank one, but we don't really care about that now, okay? But I don't really have to have the word next links, but I won't touch it, okay? The key point is I do have a field that holds the image of the game. And that image I can use when I do the template. So in the template, I'm using the game image URLs. In order for that to work right, I must put what is known static URL. It's a variable that the Django always know what it is. It really is. The place for it, you should have a directory called static here. Whoever work with me in the real life application we're playing with, it really is this directory. 
This is it. And it really is set up in the setting, but I won't get into it too much. It says static URLs. And under the static URLs, I should really, if you look at the model, it says, put the stuff, upload them to the game store. Meaning I need to go and look at this one. This is the game store. And under the game store, we would put the images. This is not the images, so there's only two here, okay? If there isn't any pictures, you will not find. By the way, it can't be that one. There must be another static here. I don't think this is the right one. You must have more than that. Hold a second, let me double check. You might have it here. It will work here, but it will not work on the internet, by the way. Don't you have here static, static? Can be, you, we, I see more pictures, don't we? Can be that. That was me a second. Yeah, there's more pictures. There cannot be that one. So we'll figure that out in a second. There must be another static. And if you don't find it, then I will tell you how you know exactly what it is. Okay, there's a one static here. There must be another static. Anybody find another static? Anybody? Anybody? Yes. Well, I don't find it. Do you? What do you think? I think I'm wrong. What do you think? I think there's a mix up here. There's a whole mess here. How about we look at the media? Remember, Jeremiah, you should know that Jeremiah and Daniel and Brenda. When we put in the model, when we put in the model, okay, and we put upload to, this is going to the media. And in fact, it does. And it does put it in the media under the game store. You see, and there's a lot of pictures there. See, I know that something doesn't make sense to me and I'm totally confused because it seems to me another error, I think maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'm discovering another error here. This shouldn't really say static here. What is this supposed to say, by the way? How about media, you want, but I tell you what they did and they cheated. Okay, I think the book cheated. And I will explain. This is a little hard one, but I will explain. If you go to the static and you go to the basis, there are two, and I tell you, on your program will not make much difference when you're programming, but it's a big deal when you're uploading it to the internet. It will not work, definitely will not work. Okay. So don't, don't be intimidated if you don't understand something. Okay, believe me, it took me so many years to understand the whole thing. So don't get intimidated, step by step. Too many things, so don't feel like you are not smart, you are smart. It's just confusing. And step by step, everything will be clear. If you scroll down a little bit, you should find something say media and static. Anybody see that? Here we go, I see that. You see that? Yes. There is one say media root, first of all. There's media root. And there is static root. One says media, one say Static, and then when you look at that, oh my God, he has statics files directory. I never went over that guy stuff with you guys. It wasn't really necessary for now, but you can tell there is a mess here. Somebody made a mess here. Okay. And then eventually, okay, I don't really know what is static URL. You see, it's a static URL. It goes to the static. Right? 
And when I ask him to go to the media, make more sense to me that it should go to the media because it is in the media and not in the URL. So how does it work here? I have no idea. When I look at this one, it says static URL and it is actually working. So I'm confused. I'll be honest, I'm confused. That changes to media. That's what happened. And I will explain that one. Let's see if it works. Come on. What happened? There's many other better tricks than this one. Daniel and Jeremiah and the one on certificate too. So don't worry about it. I'm not gonna kill you on the exam on that one. No, not at all, in fact. You'll have time to play with it, okay? Come on. Okay, let me make sure I type it correctly. Daniel, your computer is not moving. I don't know whose computer is this. Come on. Can't walk like that. You guys have to learn how to put Zoom on the Ubuntu by Wednesday. Must be. I didn't want to show you intentionally. I think you should learn by yourself. It will help you. Okay, so let's see mid. Yeah, is that right? Did I spell it right? I think I'm missing the M and it doesn't take all my letters, of course. Is that right? Am I missing an E somewhere? How do you write it? <sighs> yeah, I need an E after the M. Where is it? Actually, I need. Okay, let's see if that works. Let's go to the game store. It does work. Amazing. What do you think? This is really the way it should be. On the on your computer, it doesn't distinguish between the two, but it's really the right way to write it. It should be a media URL because it goes to the media. Then there is a command that I didn't go through with you called a collect static files on the server. This will not work, it will put it in the wrong place. So this is really the way it's supposed to be. It should say media URL, okay? That's okay, not the end of the world. On your regular computer, it will not make a difference. And in fact, I never went over that. I didn't think it's the time yet. You have so much to learn before you deal with it. If you go to the URLs of the trades,
So you can tell, you can see here, there's something we never really talked about it. I didn't think it was the time, but let's, let's leave it for now. It's combining here the static of the media URLs and the, the media route and and in fact, in deployment, you even change it slightly. It depend on the server you're using. But for now, let's not worry about that one. It's not crucial for our certificate one. This one also has to be changed. If I have multiple languages, one day I will show you how uh, I did it in Academy City. But for now, let's don't worry about it at all. Okay? Please don't. Just make sure that if you're putting data, and that's the only things that I would like you to take from that. If you're making an image field in a table and you're doing upload to, and you're putting something, this is going to the media. It's not going to the static. That's why the only things I would like you to know, it's not going to the static under the static, it's going to go under the media. That's it. For the rest, we will deal with later on. And they already made mistake. Oh, it's the book, or I don't know who. This should really say media you want. Okay? Okay, we got the picture. And we want to go, what is else? Right under that, you can tell we have another other information. We have a title with the name of the game. By the way, let's make it smaller one. Let's make it H4. H4 will make it smaller, tighter, okay? Why well, didn't change it? I thought I did. Yeah, I did, okay. It will make, make smaller, tighter. Then we have, by the way, this is very important. You see double, double bracket, curly ones, very important. I use the variable game. That means for this game, give me the name of the game. And by the way, the game, the name, why is it defined? in the model, it's right here in the model. Here's the name. I define the release year, the developer, published by, you see all this information I'm really using right in here. Why is it right in here? Good, so this is really simple stuff. This is a paragraph, P is for paragraph. In other words, you're really adding another role there. In this case, developer, but the developer, published by, etc. all of that stuff. Price list, by the way, this is a good one. Okay, this is a very good one. Please notice it says game connected to price list. Uh, this morning we talked about it a little bit uh, in a different context. If you go to the models, And you scroll down a little bit, there, there is a table called price list. If I, here we go, you see there is a, a, a table called price list. Everybody see a table called price list? Here it is. See that? Yes. Here's a table. And if you look at the table, there is a foreign key probably. Everybody see that price list table? Yeah. Let's make a little bit so it will take less space. Okay? By the way, you don't really even have to keep, you don't really have to. Oh, come on. This is annoying. Can't walk that way. Okay? By the way, you don't even have to keep that space here either. You can do it this way. Okay, I will take less space. In the price list, I have a, I have a, a price per unit, and I have other stuff. But I think there is some mistake here for some reason. If you go to the game, Here's the game. And if I go down a little bit, where's the game? Uh, 
here we go, you see price list? And if you have a good eye, this is very important, very, very important. The truth of the matter, it's a stupid design. I will never design it this way, okay? But somebody did it and I don't really care. And the really important things is, pay attention, it says a game and it's a model and it's one-to-one, -one. it's not a foreign key. It's like for every row in the table of the game, where is the game? It's very hard to work with your computer, Daniel. I think it's the last time I will do it. It's uh, jumping and it's slow. And at some point we have to live with the fact that we have to use good computers. Uh, we can't work that way, it takes too much time and we don't have that much time in life. After all, we all die. So we rather to, to work with a good computer. Uh, so anyway, we have a game, you know, and the game, the price list table, it's linked. You see, I can't walk this way. I can't. I don't know where I am. It's always jumping on me. Okay. Uh, I will finish the session today with that one, but next time I'm not going to use this computer. It's impossible. Okay. See, I can't really walk like I should walk. Okay. I have a game table. See a game table, see it's jumping like crazy. And I have a price list linked to the game. By the way, you can believe that that will look better, probably. You don't need all these. You can keep it. You can keep it in the same hole, it will be easier to read. Okay, you can take this table. Okay, you, you, it's very important all by the way. And it says even it's a primary key, do you see that? That means, you know, you have a primary key already in the game table, you don't need, don't create another primary key here because it's creating by default. So, but that's, that's important. The key important things is for every row in the game, you have a price list, you got it? Because yes. it's one to one. We studied one to one, one to many in the beginning. In this kind of table, I never do it this way, okay? Unless you want to divide responsibility to different employees. I would keep it at the same table, by the way. The other option is if you really want to update, if you want to, you won't be able to, in fact, you will change the day, but I don't get into it. The key point is what important is that I have two tables and they are linked, okay? I have the game table, have the name and all the information about the game, and I have another table called price list. I don't know what's happening here, it's amazing. Where's the price list? Here we go. The price list, okay? The price list has the price per unit. So why it was so important to understand that? They are both links to each other. By the way, I am personally, and whoever was with me this morning, know that I always like to put here, I call it related, it will jump automatically, it should jump automatically. Related name. It should bring related name. You see related and it wasn't powerful enough to pull it up. It should say related name. Let's see if it will do it. Name equal, 
I'll call it price list. This is the right way to really write the code. Okay? And I think this one should be in parentheses, if I'm not mistaken. Why is it important to put that name here? Because it by default will make, it will take this one and take the capital letters and remove them and it will make it. But I like to be explicit. So I write it by myself. So I don't have to think about it. Related name is how the game table, how the game table is connected. Okay, you have the game, How's the game table connected to the price list? Here we have, see I can't really work with this computer. I'm sorry, I'm gonna give up very soon. The price list, from price list I can go to the game. But if I wanna go from the game to the price list, this is the name that I should use. So when we look at that here, When we look at this one, I go from the game, now I'm going to go to the price list. And from the price list table, I'm gonna take the price per unit. Because the price per unit is in a different table, it's not in the game table. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. Okay, related name is very important. It does it expli implicitly, but I like to be explicit. That's why I gave it the name price list. It's exactly what he is using, but I like to be uh, implicit. So this is take care of that one. And then can you say, see, this one is also, it just really putting a comma. This is really called filters. I won't get into that here. The only nice things about this one, if you have thousands, it will put their comma. And if you have a decimal point, it will put two decimal point, okay? That's all what it does, but this is called filters. We won't get into that, especially not now. One they will get. In real life, very rarely you do, honestly. I don't know why they have still cents and all of that stuff. In Uganda, you don't have a shillings dot 20 cents, do you? Nobody used that, am I right? Yeah, right. Okay, so this is really only for really for the filtering. It's good to know about it. And by the way, this is an extremely important topic. We will touch that a little bit in, uh, in Certificate 3. I will talk about filters. That's a very important topic. And you can build up your own. So Django come with special ones to tell you, put to for floating format, it means put two digit after the dot, after the last complete number. And if there are a thousand, put a comma. That's all it does. Okay? It does it automatically for us. This is it. The rest, I'm not even going to go over it. You see the else here. If the game has a price unit, that means if there is a price, put that. If not, just don't put anything. So just write not available. I will leave it to you as an exercise. But this is very simple. There's an if comment. If somebody already put a price there, just show it, okay? And you put the dollar signs before it. And otherwise, just write not available. That's it, that's very simple. So this part, now we're summarizing. This part really, it's the content. This part is the content of whatever we have inside the box, not including this button. So the picture is the first div and all, this is the name, this is all release, blah, blah, blah. And the price in from the other table. This one I didn't cover yet. In a second I will go over that, okay? So let's look at this one and that's with that we'll finish, almost finish. Scroll down, 
Let's go down. Come on, guys. Is the internet is so slow? Or is that the computer? I think it's. I think it's yeah. I think it's mostly the internet. It's terrible. The computer. We have used this computer before. It never gave me that hard time. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, by the way, the last part, which is the link, you can tell it's really is this A. You see that the one that are from certificate two. By the way, this class it makes it to be a nice button. Okay, we don't have to go button primary. It makes it blue color. So this is bootstrap. Okay, we talk about we talked about it this morning, by the way. But for certificate one, don't bother with it. All what you need to know, it makes a nice button. If I remove this one, it would be just a regular link. This is you should know by now. This is very important. I will go over that. This is the most important things. When I click on this button, it's going to go to the URL of the game store, and it's going to the functions or the link, I should really say, called carrot. What do I mean by that? Everybody should know that by now. Am I right, Daniel? Yeah, right. I go to the game store, go to the URLs. That's all what it means. Yeah. That says go, when you click on me, when you click on this button, go to the URL of this application game store. Here is the URLs of the game store. And where in that file should I go? You should have a link by the name carrot. So let's see if I'm right. Is there is a name like that? Otherwise, I get an error. And in fact, it does. Here it is, the last one, isn't it? Yes. Everybody see that? Yes. So it's going to go here. And when he's coming here, by the way, please notice he's writing carrot, he's writing aid, and he's expecting the ID of the game. So if I don't put the ID of the game, I will get an error. That's why in here, in here, we put a game ID. You're familiar with that, uh, Daniel and uh, Jeremiah and Brenda, and whoever played with me on the website of the Feb house, we use that a lot, remember? For the style, and we use that for the for the category. So for the student certificate one, don't panic. Okay, we will go over that a lot next semester and moreover. One of the things you will see real life web applications, complete one, we will go over it again and again and again. For now, just remember when I click on this one. I want him to go to this place. What is this place? I'm going to the application game store, to the URLs of the game store. What is the application of the game store? Here's the game store. Here's the URLs. I'm going to go there. Inside there, I'm going to the link called carrot. I go to the link, carrot, double click. I go to the carrot. When I look at the carrot, it really is expecting game ID. That's why I added the game ID there. If you get it wrong, I will not flunk you in the exam. Okay? That's when we go over that so many times. But after certificate two, I do expect you. Every student in certificate two must know that very well. Okay? So we go back to that list. And we're done. In fact, here we go. This is the picture, right? That div is the picture. This is all this information. And eventually, eventually, we also have the button in the bottom. It says add to count. In fact, a good eye is means, look, this is after all really creating for me that button. By the way, Look at that. I think Daniel will appreciate it now. 
You see, I have a div here, okay? It says item box, it's ending up here. You see that? It's ending here. It really is the complete box. This is the box here. Please don't panic if you didn't got it. This is really the box. You make a nice design, you put a picture, that's the first div, the second div is putting all that stuff. And then I have an A link, which is linking to this one. Okay, so we have three elements inside that one. Now, see the beauty of it. It really is a good design. There's several things that are good design. Uh, what do we have here? It's the end of the for loop, correct? So all the stuff we talked about so far, in fact, they are inside the loop. What do I mean by inside the loop? We have a loop here. I intentionally ignore this stuff, so let's ignore this stuff. I don't really care for now, okay? But for every game, for every game is making a box. It's making a box for every game. That's the object of this template. This template, I give it a list, it will make a box for every item in the list. I'll repeat it. See here, I gave him a list, he's making me all those boxes. If I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, he made for those line, it makes, it makes the, it makes a, a box for each one of them. Okay, let's see what this one does, by the way. Second, let's see if we have more. No, we don't have more. Oh, if you go to, if not, we'll fix it next time. But I will finish with one little things. Okay, so, and then I will go over it. I think you guys should really go over it again. And on Wednesday, on Wednesday, I will re review everything I did today because there were a lot of hard stuff, I know, okay? And, but I want to do one more thing so we'll appreciate what we did. I'm going to go to the 127. I'm going to go to the tables themselves. Yeah, I think the internet is very, very slow. And I'm gonna go into here. I want to look at the data. Let's see if I can look at the table. How do I go to the table, by the way, anybody? Yeah, the internet is extremely slow. How do you go to the table, Daniel? Can you click there? The internet is so slow. Can you hear me, guys? Anybody? See, it doesn't move. How about we take a break here, Daniel, and we continue Wednesday? I don't think it's small. It's yes. hard to walk this way with such an internet. Yeah, I want the admin. Yeah, I do want the admin. It's just very, very slow, so. By the way, we're supposed to see the table game store, correct? All right. Game, in the game store. And I'm gonna stop the session, I apologize. It's just impossible to walk this way. I, 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 I think we can. Hey guys? I think it's all right, we can end here. I think so, it's just really annoying and you also get annoyed. And you a lot, a lot was actually also yeah, last. Yeah, see it's even saying not responding. So thank you guys, apologize. But I think we finished most of it. Please do go over that one more time the student for certificate two. Try to go over that again with the student 
one and next week uh, on Wednesday I will go over it again okay before the exam thank you guys sorry about it uh, it's really difficult before it was a good one have a good one guys